Okay. okay. The first order of business is reorganization. I make a motion that Kurt Fairchild will be chair and Shane Simons will be vice chair. I'd second that. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Two zero. <laughs> Two zero. You're not voting. I'm not voting. I'm not voting. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I didn't vote against it, but I didn't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your sign. Take your sign. Here's your sign. Here's your sign. What else do we have to vote on? Yeah, you need to get your chairs organized. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's about right. Yeah. I use a hard sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's two more. All right. We have the the usual um, annual resolutions that we need to do. Um, they are the Naming the depositories, uh, we have to pass the cash, cash basis account for the resolution, and then of course the newspaper. I did not make up a new resolution for mileage work for so 48 cents a mile to state. Um, state pays 53.5. We've been at 48 for 100 years. If you want to move that, I can do a resolution real quick. Um, okay. Um, and your newspapers. I got the quote from the courier and um, Courier quoted 29 cents a line. These are for the legal publication. Right. If we paid 28 last year. But the, the Tribune quoted me 66 cents. 56? 66. 66. Well, because he says no uh, they have gone to doing a, a per column inch rate, and it works out to about 66 cents per line. So, He's out in the field. honestly, we get along really good with the mm -hmm. courier. They're awesome to work with. David's just so helpful and gets your stuff printed when he needs to be. And, I, mean, so, I really don't know who the who the who to go to over here. So the banks or the banks in the county? They're all the banks. Banks, banks bill. American State. Maxwell St. John's, SJM Bank of Kansas, Hudson, Maxwell St. John, and then Prairie Bank of Stafford. Turn on my resolution. Yeah. Should we just pass all of You can look them over and then pass them later. Um, we don't have to pass them today or pass them Yeah, later. you've got to pass them today, but you can look them over before you do it. Is there a two? Is there a one and a three? Yeah, there's a two. Two, two is the cash one, basis. Two is the cash oh. basis. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and then I've got four is the... One is the bank, two is the... The landfill fee wave, wave on the tax sale. Okay. Three is the courier. Are we going to do the fresh? I think so. I think so. The resolution on the okay. fresh fee. Yeah. Um, do it from the, those who want to... Yeah, I've got it here. Is it number four? We do them all no, we do those three and then do this. Three. <coughs> I'll make motion we adopt resolution 2017-1 through 2017-3. Second that. And we have a motion and second to approve resolutions 2017-1 through 3. All in favor say aye. 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 We don't have to print any of these you said last year you wanted to look them over, mm -hmm. so one uh, Kurt can sign off on them there at the bottom. Um, that's the yes, I'm 
motion for the tax corporation since I'm in the wrong file. I'll second that motion. <laughs> Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the tax roll corrections. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion to approve. identification when they tear down these buildings? What they have to do is, I'll give Darren a copy of that resolution, and when they go out there, they have to bring a copy of their sheriff's team with them. And he then, pretty much knows the names, too. Yeah, I give him a list of, of, the, of the property that was purchased, who purchased it, and then, but they have to show, on the, that last paragraph says they have to show their deed to him, and they have a year to get it done. Okay. So, it worked pretty slick last yeah, time. So, um, Southwest Canvas Area Agency on Aging is requesting their thousand dollars. As soon as I can do that. Okay. Um, that's all I have for this. See, Kelly PG is coming today. Um, Ryan is not here. He's at Quaddy Actors Canvas. I don't know if that Robert Mitchell or anybody went through it. Well, I have. Anything else? Not at the moment. Next one's at play. Props is the area. Okay, we'll recess. Okay. Is that time session? We're not in executive session. We're in regular session. Throwing me off. That's we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're organized. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That, that happened at 831 this morning. You all want to get out of the kitchen. Well, that's a stack of checks on it. <laughs> okay. We I just, I just, right now. So right. Nobody likes to sit in this room. Nobody. You're in the house. You got the year before. Yeah, not good enough. Next well, year. Maybe Clay gets it. Next year's. 
<laughs> it all just kind of flows down here. Down here right? <laughs> well, we've gotten bids at that time of year again for another vehicle. And what are we allowed to do here? I usually um, a lot of twenty five thousand. Mm -hmm. It was more than that last year. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Which ones? Uh, well, with their trade in, they usually can. Which one do you get? Which one's that? The uh, Dodge. The Dodge. The one we just had to put money into. Yeah. And <laughs> we're still not getting the best trade in. Really? In the world, anyway. About 120 uh, miles it's, even though it's basically as a new motor, it's right. still what I get. Um, we've got a bid range normally anywhere from 18, but that's not what the extended warranty we checked on to go ahead and have that done. Uh, <coughs> uh, I'll try to get third. I'm still going to go up. Actually, we spent 19,000. What's that? Actually, we spent 19,000. So that unit that was traded in had 70. Yeah, it only had summer around there. Yeah, it, it had low, low mileage compared to the It was one of those that were put back on the log. Mm -hmm. so. But you asked me to check on those. For the extended award, we're talking about $5,000 increase roughly. Five years, 100,000 miles. On so it's cheaper. I mean, I wonder, did they say what that would increase the trade value? Because it's because it doesn't go with the Actually, they didn't. Same thing. Yeah, they didn't really mention they do transfer them. Uh, they, they, they do. Extended okay. workings do transfer, yeah. but yeah. we have them four years, but they're normally over the 100,000 miles. Right. Right. Yeah. We normally have four years. Well, I think it's worth it. Uh, so what it costs us? 3500 bucks. Yeah. 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 But that's the only time. We're at right. basically like that. We have to send you to a vehicle to the year. Otherwise, it lasts. Outfit it with the lights and the radios and the trade. Some of that will switch over, not all of it. So, what did you find out what we have budgeted? We budgeted 27. And that's without the extended warning or with it? I. Without. I think that's without. 
I think that's just their so standard. The, the cost of the truck is 47 8 and there's 13 8 rebates or programs also. And there's 8,000 trade to get it 26,000. Didn't charge for license plate all the time. That's the one you want? That's what we want. I just, I'm not driving. I'm not driving. Good luck with ours and so on and so far. And everyone I talk to is that you're I make a motion with the dog. Purchase the 2017 GMC Sierra half for $26,000. No second. We have a motion to second to purchase the 2017 GMC Hunter four wheel drive pickup for $26,082.43. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Pardon for the second. No. Second. 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 Okay, I'm not getting it. It's been going on too. Years. 
I'll just leave. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Don't, don't, don't run off, Sheriff. Uh -oh. Sheriff's return. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Well, this is a big boss. Why don't you read through it and then you can sign it for a need of the notary. This is a sheriff sale. Oh. All tracks up to this thing. Twicing. Yeah, I asked Michael Robinson if he wanted me to finish that thing. I, he didn't tell me. He kind of cut out. He was at the sheriff's sale, but he had it cut out for some yeah. reason. So I figured, well, I better get the sheriff's return done before I lose my notes. So we had, what, three no sales? Oh, I didn't, I didn't one. look at that. One, 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 just one? Yeah, of the, tr one of the no tracks. That oh, one, that's right. One in that so. And part of the reason was, for whatever reason, the appraiser's office did not have a picture of that ground. There, for every other tract of real estate, the appraiser's office was able to give me an image. Uh, just uh, Jeff Parr by Robert Murrow Undershirt. Technically, Jeff was a sheriff as a private. I was not going to waste my time and your money trying to write him down. <laughs> Hi, Chair. Request the executive session for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. What topic would you like? Salary. Non elected? Yes. I'd make a motion on the executive session for non elected salaries, under salaries, for 15 minutes. I second. And we have a motion and a second to go into executive session for 15 minutes for non elected personnel. Dealing with salaries, all in favor say aye. Aye. skills as a team player to all of our volunteer and full-time staff. Gary's had many challenges in our rural community and he's overcoming the situation with his precise skill. I make a motion to raise Gary Hartman from $11 per hour to $12. Second. We have a motion and a second to raise Gary Hartman from $11 an hour to $12. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. So we'd like to request a step increase for Michelle Houston, increase from range 5, step 3 to range 5, step 4. Um, Michelle goes above and beyond taking call time of others and billing as needed. Michelle handles all the crew time sheets and scheduling. She's also in charge of supplies as a co-instructor for every EMT class. She's truly a great team player and an asset to staff for county emergency services. I'll make a motion to <clears throat> Increase Michelle Hudson from the range. Huh? Houston. Houston. <laughs> Houston. <laughs> uh, range 5, step 3, to from range 5 to step 4. Uh, second that. And we have a motion a second to increase Michelle Houston from range 5, step 3 to range 5, step 4. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion to carry. What do we think in January 1? Yeah, we can do it back to January 1. Just to make mention again about the CPR classes, we're having a community CPR class in Stafford on the second and fourth uh, Saturday of February. And I believe it's from 8 to noon. 
Um, but it'll be there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. for taxes was right on target from what I was, um, always figured. Mm -hmm. So I, thought, I felt the taxes came in real good in December. And then there's my pie chart. It shows CDs versus our liquid accounts. So accounts very liquid. And then drum roll. Our total. Our total interest came up a little bit from last year, uh, $19,239.49. Do you try to keep a certain percentage in CDs? Or how I'm going to put some more in, I think, um, go back to the stair step schedule, um, like maybe one every month or one every two months. Uh, I didn't know the interest rates really year. aren't that good, but... It's about um, zero. Yeah. So I'm, I'm in February, I'm going to approach that. But I go out for bids because I keep it fair for everybody and whoever gets the high bid. Probably not much difference anymore, is there? It, it just depends. I mean, it used to be. They vary very quite on each side. It just depends on how bad they want it, you know. So. What is the best thing to do to it right now that you can yeah, I mean, do you have to go in three months CDs? Or? Um, I do a year. A and, year. And I, they call it laddering. I do, I try to do one every month, you know. Okay. And then when one's coming out, one's going back in. And so you're trying to average all your interest rates, getting the better of both worlds. Kind of like dollar cost averaging, you know. So, and um, you know that treasure portal I can tell you about where people can go online and, oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. look up taxes and stuff. I found a brochure that kind of shows what it looks like. Would you guys like to look at it on, just at your own time? Sure. Yeah, that way you can kind of see what the people see on the computer and how they search and you know how they can find out how much their taxes are. And, I don't know, you know, the, the portal for the treasurer's office was, I think, about 5,000. If we decided to do that, we held off for now. But I was, so how does that work? Is that is that a website-based company that you upload inform only certain information into? Or do they have access to all your, or not all your records, but parcel records? Um, to tax tax records. So they would be, they could get the amount of the tax, the legal description, uh, camera number okay. would be available in there. It would show whether it's paid or not. Um, that would help a lot of our phone calls come in mortgage companies or did this person pay their taxes or not. Um, a lot of mortgage companies maybe don't get a tax statement, they could just go online and look it up for missed tax statements that they forgot to request. I got to think about that after we talked about that last time was, you know, the, how secure and what, if somebody did hack into it, what would they be They hacking would be in? hacking into CIC because CIC uploads our information every night. They don't even touch us. Uh, okay. It's CIC, uh, CIC would grab our update every night. Right. And it would be available the next day. So that when you're in looking today, it would be yesterday's right. work. If something was posted today, it would not be on that. But they, it wouldn't 
touch us. Nope, it doesn't touch us. Mm -hmm. Nope, CIC um, hosts it and they they pull our backup every night and then that's what the people look at, what CIC has okay. out there on their website. For the individual get on that, do they have to have the password? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just... It's just open. open. It's open. Mm -hmm. oh. It's public record anyway. When you have yeah. this, so it shows a login to to log in. Oh, password. that one shows a login. Yeah. Uh -huh. Security. Security. Yeah. 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 yeah I seen very few of them. Well, that might be part of our part. Oh. Okay. That's administration. Okay. Yeah. 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 That yeah. yeah. wouldn't be for. Uh, yeah. yeah. But well, just, I could see that'd be helpful. <laughs> this is through CIC, or is this a separate vendor? No, it's through CIC. And then um, I think support on it was like a thousand a year. So I mean, I you know I ran it by Carl. I asked if he was interested. You know, he said, and I agree with him. That, how much does the county want to pay for stuff just to make it convenient for people? I mean, I wonder how many people would actually use something. Like that. A lot of people really would use it. But it might save you time looking it up. For it would save the treasurer's office a lot of time. There's still going to be those people that call us because they don't want to look it up or they're not comfortable with how to do it. But. It's just something to think about, so you might look that over. So that's roughly 6000 a year to do that? Or well, 5000 5, the first year, year. yeah. And 1000 for maintenance. And that's the support. So, so yeah. it's 5000 initially, mm -hmm. and then $1,000 every year? I should probably get a new price quote if we really want to, uh, you know. Because the price quote she gave me was from like last May or June, okay. so I would have to. It's not that late. It's not that late. Maybe in the So anyway, I found that copy, so you guys can have a visual of what it looks like what people would uh, see on their computer when they're looking it up. So. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, Joe, do you have anything? Nita had a couple questions for me about the foreclosure. Recess or little recess. I just had called. I obviously got the same letter I think you guys did from Harry Stites. He represented CKLPG for Stafford County for so many years. And I might have probably been on the longest through the years. We used to have Barton County with us and they broke off. Mm -hmm. We've been able to keep it afloat. Um, I guess after this letter, I will tell you, I was a little bit surprised with the letter. Um, I called Harry and talked to him, and um, there was only one issue that I knew about that he brought up at a board meeting with the individual from St. John, and um, I thought it got worked out. So I was a little surprised to see the severity of his letter. Um, that he brought in funds and assets. I was really surprised about that. Um, we've had Bates and Millers do our books up to about two years ago, and then we couldn't afford their fees with all the cuts and stuff. So um, actually, um, myself, I, if I do the books. Um, I work for the Conservation District in Rush County, come across, and uh, my board allows me to do it during the day. and. Uh, CKLAPG gives me a stipend, much lower than what the um, Adams, Brown, Barrett, and Ball had charged to keep it afloat. So I assure you the funds are in good shape. Um, there was one time, the um, this may have been one you referred to, Adams, Brown, Barrett, and Ball two years ago sent us a letter with a concern with Robert, and they were addressed. Um, they noted that um, he went to a conference and went down the night before or like the, the day before instead of right before, but I had given a verbal approval for that because there was a storm coming, it was up by Topeka, and that's the only training he gets, so I wanted to make sure he was at that training. So that was an okay moment. So um, anyway, um, and then um, 
Perry's a very good guy. I don't know if you know him. He's a very quiet guy. He hardly really says anything in the meetings. And I tried to engage him in the meetings, but I, I said I only heard one negative thing out of his mouth the whole time he's been on the board, so this was a little bit of a shock. But I reacted to it because it's a, it's a letter, so I called to see if I could get to visit with you guys, see what your concerns were. In the meanwhile, about every two years, I do go through a list of all the septic contractors and uh, well drillers, and then I take 25% of the permit applications, whether they're septics or wells, and I randomly call people to see how they're doing, because mm -hmm. obviously we get taxpayer dollars and we generate fees. So uh, as a board, we're accountable for Robert. So um, I did call. I didn't get all of these people called, but I did call the Stafford County people, and I did get through all of this other than a couple of them that um, didn't answer. I'll, I will continue calling them. Out of all of these, I only had what I would call one negative, and this was the incident, I think. Harry was talking about was with um, Jacqueline Johnson. She lives here in town, and that was the only negative one. But um, I guess I'm here. This letter concerned me because when you have six counties working together, if there's an issue in one county, you know, and if you guys would decide to get out, obviously that would affect the other five counties. So I guess I'm just here to get your thoughts, your concerns, any questions you have for me. Well, it was brought to us that uh, the Soil Conservation, if I get this right, the Soil Conservation Board was needing loose ends tied up to get funds distributed and projects completed and with Robert's lack of communication that was not happening at all. Okay. And, and there was numerous phone calls and uh, you know some of these projects to my knowledge the way I think the way they explained to us stated back a couple of years and uh, they brought us aware of the situation and uh, uh, to me that's unacceptable. Uh, you know, acceptable performance if we're going to, you know, if the programs have to work and money has to be distributed and projects have to be completed and inspected before the funds can be distributed, then, you know, we can't hold that process up. Right, and I did visit with Christine and Rita out of the office, and I asked Christine some questions. And um, Robert has since got with them. I know Rita said that Robert's always got back with her and Christine, and Robert has seen to be the two that had the communication issues. Um, he did get, he said, she did get the inspections um, on January 10th for her. Um, she did have one in 15 that was hanging and he was working with her on 16. The one in 15, Robert did stop by my office. He said he is changing. So I have started addressing some of these with Robert. He said he's changing his permit. When he does a permit, let's see if I can find out. Water. He's going to start writing kosher at the top because if it happens to be one, if he doesn't know if they get kosher or not, well, once he does the checkout, he files it away by legal so that way it can be retained. And I think in that one, it got filed away and didn't get sent to the office, which is no excuse. That's part of the problem. So I told Robert we need to make a note on these, and then I told him because I work for a district too, so I understand the process. Um, I did call the district managers from the other counties, and they, they don't have these issues. Um, they say sometimes it may take a week before they get it from Robert, but they understand he covers several counties. It's not going to happen in one day. So I'm going to stop at the office after this and visit with Christy. Second thing he's going to do is we, got a, we have a portable scanner. So when Robert goes and does the checkouts, um, it's going to be a front, it's a front page, back page, and then if you're familiar, he does a design, a drawing of a septic so we know where the laterals, the tanks, and all that way. Right? And then he can, while he's out in the field and he does his checkout, he signs the back page and dates it. He's going to scan it. It scans into his um, computer, and, and then he can email it directly to the district manager. So I told him that's a process we need to incorporate to quicken that process up. Because if you do it right when you do the checkout, then there's no chance of going back and setting it aside 
forgetting about it for a few days. But um, I told him also, I said, we have a, a sign up every year in May. And every district may have a different month they do their state posture sign up. And then we go, I take Robert that day when we do our septics and we go out and physically stop at all the sites to do our evaluation forms. I told Robert we need to try to do that in each county. And then, um, and I need to find out from Christine if they actually do that. And then I told Robert we need to start a spreadsheet to make sure that the ones that are cost share, he has a list of them, and then he can follow up. Um, the only, like a, the phone thing, because I told Robert um, a couple years ago, we did um, shut down our office in La Crosse. It was costing $500 a month. And with all the cuts, he's not in the office enough to justify paying the funds that we were. He does operate out of his house. So I have stressed with Robert, you know, his cell phone is the only link to the public that we really have. I mean, he, you can mail stuff, but he doesn't have office people can walk in on. So I told him getting back with people is a priority. Um, I did address this with him because this was the only response I got from him that I didn't really like. Um, he said he gets back but they leave a message. He says sometimes if they don't leave a message, he hasn't gotten back with all everybody. And I said, you have to get back with everybody. I said, even because some people leave a message and some don't. I said, even if you see a number of a missed call, I said, you got to call them back. Because obviously, if they're calling your work phone, it's work related. Otherwise, they wouldn't be calling your work number. So I will work with him on that. Um, you know, Robert's a good guy, intelligent guy, friendly guy. What caused some of this miscommunication here, I don't know. I'm glad it was brought to my attention. And like I said, Harry mentioned one ordeal. And then, like I said, when I got this letter, it was like, oh my gosh, um, I need to, I need to react to that. So that's why I called and I started. I do do this every two years. Maybe I should do it every year. I don't know because when you have a one-person employee, we're not with him every day. We meet quarterly and stuff like that, and we do reports and stuff. But I will assure you, and I will follow up with Harry with another phone call because I told Harry, I said, from the tone of this letter. I said, it really scares me that, you know, the county may want to drop out. And Harry says, well, I don't want that to happen. I'm like, well, did you write the letter that way? <laughs> that was my first question. But, and I said, Harry's a good guy. I respect him. I, he's helped us in the transition when we lost Barton, when we moved to La Crosse. He helped us move the office, helped us close the office. I said, him and I have been on the longest through all of that. So when you're on something so long, you work hard at it, you want to keep, kind of keep it going. Because like I said, it's, it's, you know, six balls in the air that we got moving, and it seems to work for all the counties, so that's why I thought um, I better come tell you what we're doing to react to this so that you know that we're taking it seriously. So um, I will be on top of Robert as far as getting back on phone calls, and um, I talked to, and if you want to read through the comments, or I can read through all the comments, but everybody says he does good work. They're very happy. He's friendly. He's knowledgeable and doesn't have any other than this lady here that they also had some issues in their backyard of where to put the well because you have to be so far from the property lines and stuff so I think they had a time of trying to find a spot too. But it's kind of funny because I say funny, it's not really funny, but the lady said that their contractor said good luck getting a hold of them and it was um, and it was interesting when I talked to the contractor, it was Kelly service, and he said um, some customers are a little frustrated with him getting back, but he tells them that he covers a huge area to be patient, and that was the one that said that he said a negative, and he kind of said the, the opposite about the head. So anyway, I learned a lot from calling everybody. But, but I guess my, I did talk to one contractor, he said, did you guys advertise um, to have a representative? On the LAPG? He said he thought he'd seen it, or maybe it was in your minutes. No, it's or in our minutes, so we okay. accepted it. He said he had seen it in the paper yeah. that I, I was wondering if he did yeah. that. So, um, Would you I, mind talking to the chairman of the Soil Conservation Board? No, I will do that. Yeah, I and like I said, I'm going to stop at their office so I can ask him. I, I would talk to him as well as Christine. Yeah. Yeah. I will talk to Christine, and if there's more than just this lady, I just like I told Rita. They, they came said, in with a list of projects. So yeah, and I, it, there was more than one. We didn't there get into the specifics of each project, so they, that's a discussion for. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
There was more there was wells and septic. Yeah, yeah, there was three or four. That they were working on the paperwork? Well, they needed it to yeah. get the yeah, I got them right here. Yeah, I had her email. She said, and, and I don't think they were all out in the field service issues, but following up with yeah. the paperwork type issues. She said there was one in 15, and that was the one that I told you that Robert had filed away. He didn't realize it was kosher. <coughs> but still, there could have been better communication in the time. And then there was three for um, 2016 on septic systems on getting the um, checkouts to him. So she did tell me that. Um, and then she told me they're, they're caught up, so she's not waiting on it anymore. So in the meanwhile, in the last two weeks, we got everything caught up for that. But yeah, I will visit with Christine, and we can kind of go over. I know she's newer, um, and see what process they go and what we do, and we can kind of share some ideas. And then, uh, yeah, I'd be more than happy to talk with them. Or maybe another contact number in case this problem doesn't. Fixed. Yeah, and that was another thing. I asked some of the people if they knew who the county reps were in their county, and a lot of people don't. Because right. I talked to Rita and Christine, she said at that time they didn't know Harry oh, was right. their rep. So I don't know. I don't know how to do a better. You know, right. they could tell people at the field offices, but I guess we could do. I talked about it one time in the district newsletters, doing an article about the LEPD and Sister County Sanitary and introducing them. And at that time, we could put down the board members for each county, and if each district puts it in their newsletter, that would be a way of spreading out who is the county representatives. Because it is a unique thing. Not everybody. There, there's a phone number for that. Okay. Guy you want to talk to. I guess, do you guys have any concerns? I mean, I can sit here and tell that's, you what I mean, that's a, that was our concern, that they weren't happy, you know, yeah. the lack of communication. And, okay. You know. I think oh. what you said about phone messages, that, that was brought up, too, that they just didn't, couldn't get him to talk to them. Yeah. So. That and, was a concern. I mean, yeah. If you're not going to talk, it's like you don't want to do anything yeah. about it. And that's when I picked up the phone. I thought, well, I'm going to call the. I don't know how it is in my office, but it's like I told Christine, I'm on the board, so you know maybe he caters to me a little bit more. I, you know, I don't know. Sometimes the mouth that feed, you know, the hand yeah. that feeds you type of thing, you, you put a little more effort into it. But um, I did call the other districts, and they said that they didn't have any of those issues. She said sometimes it may be a week when they get it when he's busy, but other times he shows up. I did call the banks too that do the lender evals and stuff like that. And the two ladies I talked to actually gushed over them. But, um, so there's always, but obviously there's issues in Stafford County. I don't see them in the other counties, so that concerns me. So obviously sometimes that it, it may be just be between Christine and Robert that we need to get those kinks worked out. But um, I guess I'm telling you that I did take it seriously. I did call Harry, and Harry did tell me to call the service center and, and that was the only thing that he told me to do, because I told Harry, if I don't know about the problems, I can't fix the problems. So um, anyway, I learned a lot in this process. But like I said, that was the only complaint that I had heard from Harry. But obviously, I think it stems from the service center. And then that one lady that was the only lady that had an actual service out in the field type issue. But um, I will address the phone issue. I give you my word on that because I tell Robert it's money. When the phone rings, it's money. I mean, it's somebody wanting a permit or a, a will or a septic or an application so for information. So I guess I just, I my attempt is to reassure you that we are on top of things. We want this to work. If you do have concerns and think you guys want to do something else, Please let us know. We'll do our best to try to convince you to stay, obviously, but um, you guys are your own people. But um, I'll have to give some heads up to the other counties. Um, we do have a bit of good news. Um, the LEPG and Southwest Kansas, there's a couple of them. Um, their LEPG guy um, quit. Um, they hired a new person. They only lasted like 30 days, 60 days, and then they quit. They didn't like all the travel, which it's, it's a travel job. And um, but they did hire someone else. But Hodgman County commissioners contacted us 
about maybe joining our LAPG. They said they're kind of in the corner of theirs, didn't feel like they were getting good service. Um, I wouldn't approach them to try to take them away from any LAPG, but they, their commissioner contacted us, so we're going to seize the opportunity. If we could get Hodgman County on board, obviously that would help really seal where we're at with funding, and then hopefully we, we, you know, we won't have to raise any county commissioner contributions or any fees for a while. So if we could pull them on board, that would be a good leg for us. Don't know if it'll happen. We meet with them tomorrow, actually. So I guess that's positive. Frankie, it sounds to me like you're trying to get to the bottom of it. That's well, I'm trying because I want it to work. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. if the whole thing falls apart, then every county's going to have to figure out what they're going to do. You know, either we, you know, go with a different person, and it is hard to find a person for that position. It's kind of a unique person, and I feel Robert's a good person. He's a, I know him and his family well, and I think he tries really hard. I think the phone issue. I just need to stay on top of and then I'll get with Christine to try to work out any, any kinks in the system. So I will do my best with that. But is, And then, because um, you guys will probably get in your um, invoice from the LAPG, because doesn't that usually come out in January, mm -hmm. funding-wise? So I guess that's why I'm here to see if, we, if you were scared enough, you were dropping out, or if you're willing to hang in and let us work through the kinks. But, just stay in contact with us. When do we have to decide that? Right? We've got those checks in two weeks. Yeah, so it's all in timing. I, I would like a couple of visit with uh, Joe. Joe. I will Joe. do that. I will probably call him today or tomorrow. Um, yeah. but Mom's in the hospital. I think she goes home this afternoon, so I don't know if I'll actually be at work today. We're not involved in that very much, but he is. And yeah. I no, appreciate I you talking to him. And like I said, with me being part of the district, I understand the process there and what's going on. So. But anyway, I guess I give you my word, and that's one reason I wanted to meet myself, because the letter went to me, so you all have my name, and I wanted to stay positive with what I'm involved with the best I can. So uh, Anyway, um, I guess you guys know how to get a hold of me. I will call him. And then I, do you want me to call back or email a summary of what took place with the board and Christine over this next week, or what's the best way? I mean, I don't want to just leave here and say I'm going to call yeah. him and not yeah, that'd be fine. communicate with you. Yeah. So I can do that. So, so anyway, I'll work on the phone. We are trying to do the scanning and get the permits back a little quicker since he's on the road. He's not home till the evenings and stuff. Hopefully that helps. And I will stay on top of the phone thing. But I will call them and see what process we can help this county out with getting that going. But call me if you have any concerns or interest. Okay. My right. goal is to keep it all together. Thank you. But you guys, you know, got to do what you got to do. Yeah. All right. Well, nice thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank All right. You. Thank you. Real quick, yeah. we got the sheriff's return mm -hmm. signed and filed. You want me to file a motion for recess? Sale set it for the five and recess. I think we need to do the motion. To I'll call it. I make it. Oh, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm back in session. Oh, you are? Yes. I make a motion for the county treasurer and the clerk to withhold the uh, tax distribution from the hospital until all matters are resolved and the public is well informed of what's going on and their financial position. A second. We have a motion and a second to withhold the tax distribution to the hospital until matters have been resolved and the public has been informed. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Anything else? No. Nope. Yep.